I got to tell you what happened to me. And I'm just telling you what happened to me. I can't explain it. But and I and I don't care if you believe me or if you I don't care. But I'm just telling you what happened to me. Uh, one morning, quite a few years ago, um, it had rained for a couple three days, and I knew that the air would be crystal clear. So I used to go up to Griffith Park Observatory early in the morning and take walks by myself up at Griffith Park at seven o'clock when they open. And so I went up there that morning knowing that it had rained for two or three days and it would be really clear. So I went up by myself and it first opened and there was nobody there but my but me. And I walked around the outside of Griffith Park and crystal clear, you could see all the way out to San Bernardino and way out by uh, Diamond Bar, which is, I don't know, 60 miles from here or 50 miles, whatever it is, at least that. I saw a heavy white cloud, and there were heavy white clouds over L.A. also, heavy white clouds. And But out by Diamond Bar, out by San Bernardino, my eye, I don't know what made me do it, but my eye caught a di tiny little black spot on a cloud out in the Diamond Bar area. I know that it's at least 60 miles or more to, there, to Diamond Bar from here, whatever it is, 50 or 60. And I, I thought to myself, if I can see something, even as a speck, if I can see it 50 miles away, that must be big, whatever it is, if I can see it that far away. And so I just got transfixed on it. I just stood there for a few minutes and the morning air watching this black spot that was, for some reason, that was fascinating to me. What in the hell am I seeing that that far away? And you know when a 747 or the big jets come over, how slow? Mm -hmm. You wonder how they're even staying in the air. They're so slow as they're moving over. This black spot was coming toward L.A., and it was not moving slow. This thing was moving. As it passed over, it took only about six seconds for it to pass over from when I could see finally what it was. It was going at this speed like this which is about three times to four times as fast as the 747 coming in for a landing. Mm -hmm. This thing was moving. And I'm just telling you what I saw. It was a pterodactyl. It had the huge, enormous scalloped wings, a long, long beak, heavy body with the little feet in the back, huge scallop wings, but it wasn't flapping the wings at all. It had caught the stream, the airstream, and it was just sailing. But as it sailed over Los Angeles, it was close, and the white clouds above it were very thick and heavy, so I could see clearly what it was. As it passed over my head, I saw it was a pterodactyl. And as it went, and, and the story gets even more stranger. As it went out toward Santa Monica, it was going out toward the ocean. I was mesmerized. I'm seeing a damn pterodactyl. This is not a big bird. This is a dinosaur-sized thing. It was huge. But when it went over, it went out toward Santa Monica, and there was a lot of fog and, and a heavy cloud layer out over the Pacific. And out of that cloud layer came five more pterodactyls. Five more. One at a time. They came out one at a time out of the cloud layer, out of that heavy cloud fog, one came out, another followed him, another followed that, another, until there were five out there. And I counted them as they came out because they were huge. They were very big. And then this one saw them, and it went on the side, and it now it made six. And they went around in a circle, and he joined them. He mm -hmm. came in and joined the group. Now there's six. And then the one of them started to go back into the cloud layer. The next one followed, the next one followed, the next one until they all went back in the cloud there and they're gone. And I stood there thinking to myself, nobody is going to believe what I just saw. I cannot goddamn believe I just saw a pterodactyl fly over my head in Los Angeles and five <laughs> more in the damn cloud. And you're going to go out in public and tell people you saw this? Oh, they think you're smoking something. <laughs> I've got a jacket for you. The arm's yeah, in the back. Yeah, of course. And I, I, you know, and, and, but then, you know, at 72 years old, I've come to the place now, I don't give a damn what anybody thinks. 